Hey guys, Eric Munson, Greg Smolinski here with EMB's tip between the lines. What we're going to talk about today is our step back drill. It's a great drill, get loose. It's a good drill that works on multiple things at one time. So I'm going to have Greg demonstrate a couple of the key points, what we want to accomplish here. All right, number one, Greg's going to start with his feet together closer than normal. He's going to take a step back. As he steps back, he's pushing down into the ground. He's putting pressure into the ground. It's a powerful force. It's going to push right back. All right, we want to hit from the ground up. The second part to pay attention to, as he came back, his hands got separated. They're starting to move away from his body, like a good boxer getting ready to separate and throw a punch. The third part is the weight transfer. As you see, his weight comes back to his back leg. Our back leg is very powerful when we hit. We want to stay on it as long as we can. So he's going to step back, then step forward and hit, trying to maintain this position of his head in between his feet. And ideally, when he gets back to contact, we want this head very close to being over his back knee, not going forward. All right, we go forward, we're going to hit a ton of ground balls. We want to stay back in our legs, especially on our back leg. This is why this is such a great drill, because it accomplishes multiple things. So I'm going to have Greg demonstrate here. Very good, a couple things to pay attention to. I'm gonna have him do one more, all right? Again, when he steps back, I want you to really watch how he gets into the ground. He's putting pressure into that back leg. Hands are getting separated. He's getting ready to make a powerful move. And then when he makes his move back to the front, he's still gonna maintain that backside, that power in his back hip, his back leg. And then he's going to go ahead and finish all the way through the baseball. All of this, again, a great, great practice drill to get warmed up, but also, you can get a lot of things accomplished. One more, Greg. Okay, guys, that's Between the Lines. That's our tip of the week. Thanks for checking us out. We'll see you next time.